Hey guys, Kevin Smock with Smock Knives. Hey, um, I did some modifications to my Wen uh, vertical horizontal bandsaw, metal cutting bandsaw, and I've gotten some questions about it, so I figured I'd do a real quick YouTube video and show you what all I did. Uh, it definitely helps uh, for knife makers, but might help for anybody. So um, here we go. Okay, so here is my Wen vertical horizontal metal cutting bandsaw 4x6 uh, these are relatively good priced um, reasonably priced I say they're better than the Harbor Freight ones and they're not much more expensive I usually get all of my wind stuff and I get quite a bit of it uh, from homedepot.com uh, they'll ship it right to your house and far as well as I can find they seem to have the cheapest price out of anybody So why I got this was I used to have a uh, Milwaukee portable bandsaw with a swag table and uh, I love that thing. There was there was really only one reason why um, I decided to switch out to this and that reason was clearance on this side on the Milwaukee portable bandsaw this support brace goes the whole way over flush so you could cut stuff um, you know so deep on here but then you're gonna hit that back wall and you can't keep cutting through a piece so say if you've got a um, you know a, um, a 4 by 36 inch piece and you need to cut that into uh, two two by 46 inch pieces you wouldn't be able to do it um, because you'd only get about four or five inches in and then it would hit that back wall so this way let's use, use this as an example so if I've got a piece and I'm trying to cut two of these out I can now keep keep going well at least till I hit that back wall back there but before you don't have that clearance um, and I try and buy steel in larger pieces uh, than the normal inch and a half or two inch uh, width. I, I try and get, uh, you know, four, six, 10, 12, you know, big chunks of it. So this definitely helps, and that was the reason why I got it. Um, one of the problems, the main problem, is that it has a bench that comes out. So, and it's made to sit on the floor. So one, you're sitting on the floor, and two, you've got this big thing in your way when you're trying to feed it this way through the bandsaw. So I've seen pictures of knife makers literally with, with that piece that comes out, putting some towels down or something and sitting on it. And I guess if you want the option of being able to cut um, horizontal and vertical, then you might want to you might want to keep it might not want to change it but for me I'm I don't cut pipe and rod and that kind of thing so I don't need the horizontal um, version at all so what I did was there was a pin right here going through that was connecting it to the base so I took that pin out and this is a uh, block of aluminum that I had sitting around I believe it's six inches long uh, it's probably like two and a half inches tall, two and a half inches wide, or three inches. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't measure it. But I just drilled a hole the whole way through it so that I could put... Actually, I drilled a hole in this side and threaded it on either side. So I could put a bolt in this side, a bolt in that side. And then I put three bolts down through it, down into the table. So it's bolted to the table and then th and then through here. And then to add a little bit more stability, there was two holes here, and I just got a, uh, a brace, cut the end of it off, put two new holes in there, and screwed it down to give it a little bit more stability. So now the table's gone, um, and I can put it on my bench, like a bench top. The other thing that I had to do was I took the motor off of the mount that it was on and just bolted it right down to the table spaced it out as far as I needed to for the belt Then I took the power wire and came over and installed just a regular light switch 
So all you got to do is hit the switch. Turns the bandsaw on. Turns the bandsaw off. This was a little light that I got from AMK. It was just a magnet mount, which I might get a different light. I don't like how spotty it is. Uh, I need something that's more of a flood. But for now, that'll work. And at some point, I'm going to put in a bimetal blade. I figured I'd let the, the stock blade that came in it wear out before I went off and bought another blade. Obviously, put my decal logo on there just because. And then the work rest. Um, the work rest that came with it was just kind of like a you know bent piece of steel and, the, and it wasn't flat. Uh, it kind of sucked. So I just got a piece of aluminum. I believe this is probably quarter inch thick and just marked the two holes on here from the the other work rest on here. Drilled these two holes, countersunk them, uh, and then when the, the other table was on there, I, I cut a groove so that way, you know, you could put the, the blade on there. The other major problem is when you're cutting real small stuff, um, like I do, you know, you're cutting Timascus or whatever, and you've got little tiny chunks left over, the opening on that other uh, rest was really big. So one, you couldn't get too close to it, and two, if you cut off something small, there was a really good risk that that little piece was going to go down and get into the rollers underneath here and jam it up, which would have been um, horrible. So with this, there's, there's really nothing there, and um, no chance of little parts and pieces getting stuck down in the blade or in the rollers. I still need to hook up a dust collection to it somewhere down here. I haven't got that far yet. And then also the speed. <clears throat> the uh, Milwaukee portable bandsaws run, they run faster than these do. And for cutting thin pieces of titanium or steel, whatever, you know, you're talking the maximum thickness I cut is 3 16 I don't need it to go really slow. You can actually go uh, pretty fast, uh, relatively speaking and uh, still get a really good cut and not dull the blade too fast. So I went off and bought a bigger pulley for the motor. I think that's either a four or four and a half inch pulley to speed it up a little bit. And I might actually even get a little bit bigger one and speed it up uh, a, a little bit more. Um, let's see if we can see. I don't know if you can tell kind of how fast that's going by the seam, but I actually, I actually think it could go a little bit quicker. I don't think it would hurt anything. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much my modifications to the Win 4x6 vertical horizontal metal cutting bandsaw. Uh, turn it into a bench top version. Um, made it go a little bit faster. Put an aluminum work rest on it. Put a uh, switch on it from the front of the bench and it's been working great I don't have any complaints uh, and I'm actually sure it'll cut even faster and better when I get a, a bimetal a, a, a nice good expensive blade on there but yeah seems um, really sturd sturdily built um, better than you know you go and look at the Harbor Freight stuff and bleh it just looks like somebody kicked it and rolled it down a dock um, but yeah so if you guys are interested there's my mods, and I hope that helps somebody out. And um, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.